feel like with the resurfacing that was done over winter for this year, you know, it was done in some places where, you know, it doesn't really affect the car so much. So I would say a lot of things carried over from the previous year. Um, because for sure, uh, the following year, it really changed a lot, maybe how you set things up or, or do things on track. Whereas, uh, yeah, this year wasn't the case. Just watching Ooh. a couple of cars. Oh, and a touch for the Manti Porsches. This is going to go into the barriers hard. And it has done at the tier garden. John, that's the brothers. That that's is Lawrence that's and Dries Lawrence Van, and Dries Van Tua, who are battling over fifth and sixth, a fourth and fifth position for Audi Sport Team Phoenix. The defending champion Porsche is in trouble, and that is serious damage. Looked like it was side to side contact, just as Monty Campbell was describing the new areas. That is one of the new areas of tarmac that has made the approach down to the compression at the end of the Dottinger Hurst so, so quickly. And Matty, you break so late there now that really you, you well up the upslope before you even think about getting off the throttle. Yeah, 100%. And also that with the way the, the camber changes there now as well, it's a lot easier and it is actually easy to go too wide, but it's still very difficult, which we've just seen now. You know, it's, uh, it's still very, very challenging at times. And, you know, obviously here it's such a high speed part of the track bit of side drafting going on trying to slow down the opposition car it was the Porsche that was just ahead then the Audi came back and got on to the dirt on the right hand side as they're coming into that kink and they are well through the right handed part and the Manti car can I'm afraid wave goodbye to a defence and an eighth win for Olaf Manti there was a tiny little touch there through that right-handed portion as they were coming up the hill good job by one of the get speed cars coming up behind that must have been Daniel Junkadella who was following in behind and that is a very damaged Grello Porsche number one you're on the ragged edge there uh, Mark uh, uh, let's not worry about what the, the judges of fact are going to say but you're on the ragged edge there the tiniest touch there is going to unsettle the car yeah 100% especially when you're so close to a car as well you know the side draft is having such a big influence there there's a camber change that's going sort of upsetting the car a little bit left and right as well um, but yeah it, it's no much very you know at that speed uh, it's certainly if the cars were flat there it's around 280 so oh. such high speed and obviously it doesn't take much to go wrong you know it's just the slide of this touch and, and that's it it's all over it was uh, I think it was Adam Christus Dulu actually in the uh, team get speed the other team car Axel Jeffries came along to the scene early, uh, later on testament to the strength of these GT3 cars that that Porsche took a big hit there and yet the driver is getting out Ben Consenjuris unaided Lawrence Van Thor then uh, retiring the winning car from last year the winning crew and great to see him getting out the car first of all because two big impacts uh, for that machine and uh, mm, what's it going to be like at the family dinner table uh, difficult tense <laughs> says Mark. Well, you know both of them well, don't you? Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're both really good guys off track. You know, I think they're quite different in person.